up all of the metrics. I'm Spencer Linton alongside Jerem Jordan. Let's stay with hoops and bring in our guest, Trevin Nell, on the Deseret First Credit Union Hotline, who is the seventh leading scorer in the last eight games for BYU basketball. Trevin, great to have you on the show. How are you? I'm good. Thanks for having me. Hey, you did your thing on Saturday night. Took a little while to get going for your team. When, when you see it's 14-12 to 12 at the under-8 timeout in the first half, what's going through your mind? Um, well, St. Mary's is a really well-coached team, and they play a little bit slower than how we like to play. And so um, when it was halftime, I remember I walked into the locker room and my team's like, Trev, you got a third of our points right now. And I didn't realize, wait, what's, what's the – What's the halftime score right now? <laughs> um, but, yeah, St. Mary's is really well coached, but they just play at a lot slower pace. And so if you're up by, like, six points, it's really you're up by, like, 12 just because of the slower pace they like to play at and how they like to use up the whole shot clock. And so that's kind of how this game was. It's a We call it a coach short game just because of how physical they are. <laughs> but um, it was a fun game for sure. Short to strength and conditioning, Coach. So I, I like that. You end up having 15 points in 22 minutes. Crazy efficient. You go four or five from three. A couple of those, I felt like maybe you got hit and could have had a four-point play. Uh, did you feel like that? Maybe you should have had a whistle or two uh, guys crashing into you after? <laughs> I thought I at least should have had at least one of them, right? The one by Coach Pope where he kind of picked me up, I for sure thought he kind of like ran into me. So I looked up at him. I was like, they had to call something. And he's over there, get back on defense. And I was like, all right, I'll, I'll, I'll get back up then. <laughs> How do you? How did you respond like that after a game where, it, listen, you're playing 10 deep. You're not going to get as many minutes maybe as you would in a seven or eight man rotation at this point, which is a pro and a con. But a pro when a guy like you can have zero points in six minutes on Thursday, but respond with 15 and 22. So, how do you stay ready in that situation? Um, it's just about worrying about the right things. Um, I remember I talked to Coach Pope Friday, and then he even talked to me right before the game. And just like, hey, I want you to worry about the right things. Don't worry about anything else. Worry about how you can be the best teammate. And then right when I went into the game, I remember Alex Barcelo came up to me. He's like, hey, just let the game come to you. I'll find you in the old, like in the perimeter and just do your thing. Like, don't stress and just play your game. And so um, with those guys kind of like helping me and talk me through it, I played a lot more relaxed. And, you know, it's fun to play relaxed. And it's fun to have guys like Alex Barcelo, who's, you know, our senior captain. It's senior night and he's over there calm, cool, and collected. Um, but, yeah, these guys really helped me, and um, this team is super special. We can play 10 deep, and we can make a run, and that's why we're the best locker room in America because whoever's playing, we have the guys on the bench cheering and going crazy for them. Trevin Nell with us on BYU Sports Nation. You bring up Alex Barcelo, who is one of those key three seniors. Coach Pope uh, made it very public that at some point he's going to start recruiting those guys back for another year. <laughs> so what role are you going to play in trying to get Alex and Matt and Brandon to consider another year at BYU? I mean, I've already tried to do my thing to recruit them. Those guys are really <laughs> special. They helped us get to where we're at, we're at today. Um, but it comes down to, you know, Cougar Nation. We got to get everybody on board to recruit these guys. How would you compare last year to this year, not only as a team because it's a different team, but similar success, maybe one seed line difference at this point, perhaps in the NCAA tournament. Um, yet, and for you individually, you, what, broke your pinky, was it, last year and were limited uh, last year, but now you've been healthy and able to contribute in a different way. It was my thumb. Come on now. It was your thumb. Okay. <laughs> um, but, yeah, this team's definitely different. Uh, we're not as – experience is maybe the team last year but um we're definitely i feel like we're more defensive oriented and i feel like we just trust everybody just like last year um last year we talked a great deal about having the best locker room in america and you know being the best teammate and um this year is kind of the same thing coach pope talked a lot about how is winning enough and i really feel like that's how it is for our team it doesn't matter who's playing out there all that matters is if we win and I remember Connor's talked a lot about that. Alex has talked a lot about it. And it's just kind of our identity as this team. Trevin, you have a week off because you are the two seed going into the West Coast Conference Tournament. And uh, if chalk holds, you get Pepperdine, maybe uh, Santa Clara. You get to face them eventually for the first time this season. Who knows? But how are you feeling about the setup and your run potentially at the West Coast Conference Tournament based on who's in your side of the bracket? I mean, personally, I kind of want Pepperdine. I kind of want to get 
the revenge back when, when we lost them up in Malibu. Um, but it does, like, we're ready for anybody. We're going to be practicing this whole week and we're going to get ready to travel back out to um, Vegas. And we're looking forward to um, playing the Zags again. So those are the two things that we're kind of worried about right now, but we got to take care of business in the semis and look forward to the championship. The comfortable feeling is knowing, hey, you guys are in the tourney. Like, if, if you know, something happened in Vegas, you're going to be in the tourney, which is going to be great. Yet, uh, getting to uh, not only Las Vegas and playing and coming out and going to Indianapolis, now it's about making sure there's not a COVID issue. So, perhaps you still got, you guys still have to talk about this, but what's the plan and, and testing and whatnot as you prepare for Indianapolis that's going to require you to have seven negative tests before you travel? Um, it's just about you know, taking care of business and make sure that we're responsible for ourselves and for our teammates. Um, this week we'll be tested three different times and before we go out to Vegas. And then, you know, Indianapolis comes, we have to get seven negative tests. But Coach Pope's going to hone down on this. We're going to talk about it as a team today. And I think we all have the same mindset. We all have the same goals. So we're going to take this super serious and we're going to have all the precautions necessary to be able to have these negative tests and play as a team. The specifics have been, uh, you know, under wraps, but generally speaking, you guys have been awesome this year, right? You haven't had many um, issues and, and main guys uh, miss out. How have you guys been able to be responsible in that way? And sometimes even if you're responsible, you can still get COVID, right? But how have you guys been able to lock it down to where you guys could play all the games that you, you could control and all those players could play in those games? Well, yeah, well, we have just sort of an amazing uh, athletic training staff and coach or well, athletic trainer Rob Ramos he's done a great job with us and making sure that um, we're not going out and doing things we shouldn't and you know we talk about it almost every single week as a team um, coach Pope always has um, Bobby Rodusky come talk to us about hey we got to make sure we're staying safe don't do anything that could hurt the team or jeopardize the team in any way and like I said before we just have the same goal so we're not doing anything we're not partying we're just you know go we wake up go to school go to practice, come home, sleep, eat, do it all over again. And that's kind of the life, and that's what we live for. BYU sharpshooter Trevin Nell with us on BYU Sports Nation. Trevin, I want to rewind to December and a conversation that you and I had after one of the games where I said, look, you clearly are one of the best shooters on the team. They weren't dropping at the time, and you said, oh, I'm, I'm going to keep shooting. That, that's the thing. I believe that they're going in. But there has been a turning point. What was that, and when was it for you this season? Um, well, this turning point for me was just, I just felt like I was worrying about all the other things. I felt like I was putting expectations on myself that I shouldn't. And, you know, when you're playing at this high level, you worry about, you know, what people think or how you can help your teammates or what, you know, the coaches are thinking. And like Coach Pope talked to me before the game, it's just, you can't worry about those things. You have to worry about the right things and you have to put yourself in a position to be successful. And um, so I've talked a ton with Coach Figure. We shoot every single day after um, practice, and he rebounds for me. And so we do all these, you know, these stop shots that we work on. And, you know, just putting the extra work really helped me to be more confident on and off the floor. And, like, the turning point for me, I felt like, was um, that Portland game where we were up at Portland, and I just felt like a uh, kind of switch happened where I stopped worrying about all the other things. I just kept worrying about, hey, how can I be my, the best teammate? On, the, on and off the floor and how I can help this team win. And so I think those two things really helped me to shoot the ball at a higher level. Saturday beating St. Mary's is awesome. Doing it in front of, uh, you know, 9% capacity, at least someone was in there, right, for Thursday and Saturday was awesome. And then the three sure. seniors and sort of this, what Mark Pope loves is winning a big game on senior night and getting that mic out and talking, right? Because that <laughs> happened last year and happened this year and it was, it was sweet. What was that experience like to not only win that game convincingly, and it was difficult, like you talked about, but also to honor those three seniors and, and for them to have a moment with a piece of Cougar Nation. I think it's super, super special. You know, um, I was able to speak to the team before the game and uh, I was kind of contemplating what I was going to say um, for our pregame speech. And I just remember Brandon Neighbor came in. He's like, man, I'm going to cry. And like just the feeling of love for these guys, I was like, man, this is real, like, um, you go through a whole season. We started back in May. It feels like forever ago, and the season's super long, and all of a sudden it's coming to an end. It's crazy how time flies, but being able to listen to those guys, you know how sincere they are, you know how genuine they are, and you know they want to win for Cougar Nation. 
they all feel like they've been you know taken in by cougar nation and and so it's just like a huge family for us and it's kind of hard for us to be able to like take away you know the pieces of our family and so that's why we're going to try to recruit them back is this family super special and i feel like we're just getting better and better each and every week let us know what we have to do as well, Trevin. We're happy to join the effort in recruiting those three back to BYU. So we can collaborate later on that. For now, congratulations on a fantastic regular season. Let's give you some BYUSN karma for hey, uh, the week. And give Bear a treat from us as well. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I got you. <laughs> Thanks, Trevin. Hey, thank you, guys. Trevin Nell on the Deseret First Credit Union Hotline. Deseret First, you know why we show how.